is to inaugurate this advisory committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission. You will all recall that in 2016, we launched the new vision for the Niger Delta. Its policy thrust is to bring sustainable peace, security, infrastructure, and human capital development to the Niger Delta region through the Ministry of Niger Delta Affairs, the Niger Delta Development Commission, and the Presidential Amnesty Program. In the past, these institutions were unable to deliver their mandates due to mismanagement. As a result, the people of the Niger Delta were left with abundant infrastructural projects and substantive social programs which were designed to improve their living conditions. To date, the EFCC and other agencies of government have recovered over 3.7 billion Naira in cash as well as various assets worth billions of Naira from some contractors and some directors of the Commission. Furthermore, I am told that government agencies have placed liens on over 6 billion Naira of assets which are being investigated. These abuses of the past clearly show the need for strict and diligent oversight going forward. I therefore want to urge this advisory committee to discharge its responsibility diligently and effectively, working closely with the Ministry. We are also very much aware, sir, that for sustainable development of the Niger Delta, they have a key role to play, but in playing that role, it is very instructive and necessary that they will need to work in collaboration with the states so that we do not continue to have duplication of projects. And to that extent, if we are going to work in such harmony that we enable the sustainable development of our people, it is important that there is a point at which the board of the NDDC and the various governors meet. And this is the avenue you're creating today. And we believe it is very, it's going to be very helpful. Uh, we do not want to criticize what has happened in the NDCC for uh, quite some time. But the fact is that the cooperation between the states and the NDCC has not been strengthened over time. And we have seen various cases of duplication of projects and projects that possibly are not properly planned. But I believe that with the inauguration of this body, we will now be able to sit down, meet together, work in collaboration and supportively to bring greater development mm -hmm. and developments that are more sustainable to our people.